Well, let's now switch gears. And Saburu Governor Moses Lenol Kulal will this morning appear before the Senate County Public Accounts and Investments Committee to respond to audit queries. His appearance will be coming in the backdrop of the corruption allegations bedeviling him that saw him barred from accessing office as investigations were being carried out. Chimto Ngoi now joins us live from, uh, from Parliament. Chimto, it's good to see you this morning. Do we know if the session has already begun? Well, the session has not begun, Zinzi, but we expect the governor to come in um, any time from now. We are basically just pitching tent here waiting for him to come. But as we were going through the audit reports, maybe just to bring our viewers, uh, just to bring them up to speed, is that the governor will be presenting written submissions or written uh, submissions re relating to the 2015-2016, 2016-2017 financial years. And he, he will do a written uh, defense of the 2017 2018 financial year and just looking at that report earlier on some of the sticking out issues that stuck out is that some of the 1.6 1.2 million shillings billion shillings sorry uh, allocated to Samburu County was not properly accounted for remember when the auditors went to the ground uh, there are reports that the governor failed to submit the uh, expected receipts and vouchers relating to that particular audit issue and we are expecting the governor to finally uh, possibly feed uh, the auditors with those particular reports remember when sometimes when auditors go to the ground uh, they can't find all the documents they need and sometimes during the appearances here uh, the Senate uh, County Public Accounts and Investments Committee is when they present those particular reports. But just looking at some of the issues that stuck out in the uh, in the Auditor General's report is that there was some 157 million shillings uh, spent by the executive which the auditor says did not have the sufficient uh, documentation and they will be hoping that the governor will feed uh, the particular documents that are supposed uh, to account for that particular money, how it was spent by the county executive. And there's also an issue of unsupported expenditure of 36 million shillings. And remember some of the issues that have stuck out even with various governors who've appeared before the Public Accounts Committee is that there is failure to adhere to procurement laws and even uh, the Public Finance Management Act. And we've seen uh, some governors actually get schooled on how they be able to effectively work with this law to ensure prudent use of public resources. We also expect possibly that the issue of the government being barred from accessing his office owing to the corruption issues that was that were facing him there were issues of some uh, there were claims that there was 84 million shillings that was lost uh, and he has been charged uh, in early April uh, with abuse of office and also conflict of interest among other charges leveled against him. Remember, we extensively even covered the raid that was carried out in his home here in Nairobi and even back down at Samburu County and even various county officials were also uh, fingered for uh, this particular issue of corruption. So we are waiting to see whether these particular matters will come up. And remember, this will also be a difficult task for him to also defend himself, noting that he's been unable to access his office for a certain period. Period, uh, following the ruling by Justice Mumbingugi, a ruling that has also affected uh, uh, Kiambu Governor Ferdinand Waititu. And and, and we are just waiting to see really what his defense will be over the 1.2 billion shillings that were said to be uh, inadequate, inadequately accounted for and also if there are pending bills by the county, what are these pending bills and how much uh, has his administration been able to, to finish off some of the pending bills that were even coming uh, from the previous uh, administration which was also uh, led by him so uh, Zinzi and uh, Wahiga once the governor comes in, we are waiting to see uh, when the session begins just also if there will be any other issues that will stick out relating to the audit of Samburu County and then later on we will also be checking out um, uh, the, mini the, the Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Dr. Ambassador Monica Juma will be appearing before the Implementation Committee uh, relating to the issue of the dual citizenship of Ms. Mwende Mwinzi who has been nominated as the ambassador as is the proposed ambassador for South Korea. I remember there are issues on whether uh, she should rescind the, the, when the committee uh, that vet her, uh, approved her, uh, her appointment, the issue was she should rescind one of the, the United States citizenship. So we're waiting to see whether this, uh, the Monica Juma will speak out on this uh, particular issue, noting that it's been coming out in the limelight in the past days. Zinzi?